the knee has two separate weight bearing compartments. Uh, the medial or inside and the lateral, the outside. And so often when a patient has osteoarthritis or, or their knee is worn out, bone against bone, it's only on one of those two sides. Uh, if that's the case, very often a partial knee will suffice as opposed to a total knee replacement. In partial knee resurfacing, we only resurface the, the worn out side of the knee and leave the rest of the knee natural. That's a, a huge advance and it's a, a huge improvement over total knee replacements because when we do the partial knee resurfacing, we can retain all the natural functioning parts that are in good shape and the anterior cruciate and posterior cruciate ligaments, which are major stabilizing ligaments of the knee. And we do not have to cut through the, the quadriceps muscle, which is a major muscle important for function of the knee. This is a model of a total knee replacement. Uh, and you can see that the, with a long incision, the quadriceps muscle is dislocated, the patella is dislocated, and saw cuts are made to take the entire end of the bone off. A large metal component is used to resurface the bone. The anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments in here are removed as we saw off the entire top of the lower bone. Put a metal plate in and a piece of plastic in. With the partial knee resurfacing technique that I use, uh, instead, through a small incision, a plastic wafer, very high quality, durable, plastic is inlaid into a depression in the bone, leaving a thin rim of natural bone all the way around it. Up on top, we use a smaller piece of metal reinforced, only two millimeters thick. I make a hole and a slot and sculpt the rounded surface uh, at the bottom so that this fits almost like patching the knee and putting a new surface on, removing very little bone so that the bad side of the knee is now resurfaced, the ligaments in the middle of the knee are still intact, and all the other two-thirds of the knee is still functioning perfectly natural with good cartilage. The actual surgery takes about 45 minutes to do. They stay in the recovery room for an hour, they go back to day surgery and do some physical therapy, and then they can go home. And most patients are very comfortable just on uh, narcotic pain pills for no more than a few days to a week. By eight days postoperatively, we see these patients in the office. They're usually walking on their own, maybe with a cane, uh, bending their knee 90 degrees, uh, picking their leg up, and they're already liking and feeling good about their knee within two or three weeks. Any patient on, with severe degeneration on one side of the knee can be a good candidate for partial knee resurfacing. Uh, the very young patient who's too young to have a total knee, in other words, whatever that we, we do will wear out in their lifetime, uh, is especially good for a partial knee because it's so easy to revise to another partial knee or a primary total knee. The, the older patients, uh, by doing a partial knee, they'll never have to go through a total knee replacement, and it's so much safer and easier uh, for them. Patients uh, over 75, they don't want to spend two and three months of the rest of their life getting over a what could be a dangerous and certainly painful and arduous uh, recovery when they can get over something safely and simply. So that I've been able to do partial knees in patients as old as 95 years old.